What's up? Welcome back to Ash on Main Street. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ash and I am a Disney content creator, I guess. Disneyland Paris has become pretty much my favorite place in the world. I have spent a lot of time there in the last year. I got an annual pass. It was the best decision I've ever made. I really want to start creating more YouTube content, especially around Disney, because it just makes me so freaking happy. It's like, it's just, yeah, it's the best thing in the world. We're going to be ranking every single ride at Disneyland Paris. Firstly, I'm on this website called Tier Maker and I found this online. Firstly, I need to like rename these columns at the side because these are just not the vibe. So dumb is gonna be, nope. I'm gonna have a meh category. I'm gonna have a, it's okay category. We're also gonna have solid. It's solid. It can stand its ground, but it's not iconic. So the top category is like iconic big slayer. Let's get into it. Cause I've done pretty much every ride at Disneyland Paris, maybe apart from like two or three. It's usually like the big ones that make me motion sick. So let's get into it. Firstly, we have Big Thunder Mountain. Come on, starting off strong, iconic. It's my favorite ride in the park. It is so good, it is so fast. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> but it's like also a really good family friendly ride. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a good baby's first roller coaster, I think. Or maybe like, if you've done like a really baby roller coaster, like if you've done Pirates, then I think Big Thunder Mountain is like your next step up. Next up is Snow White. And Snow White, we were kind of late to the Snow White party. We never did the ride in March on our first trip, March 2022. We were kind of like, oh, like it probably can't be that good. Because I'm going to be honest, the rides in Fantasyland aren't my favorite. I love them, but like I just don't love them. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to put Snow White in It's Okay. It's kind of terrifying in some parts. There's a scene, if you know the tree scene, oh my God, it's literally horrifying. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. The carousel, I'm gonna put that in May. I know it's a classic, but every theme park has a carousel. And there's nothing that special about Disneyland Paris' carousel. If I was riding on Mickey Mouse or riding on Pluto or like zipping around with Goofy, then absolutely, I'd be like all over it. <gasps> Could you imagine getting piggybacked by Chip and Dale? <gasps> it's big, that, would, that would be big slay, but unfortunately it's just not. Next up we have Dumbo. Now I love Dumbo. It's very cute, but I, I can't. It is iconic, but it's not iconic in the sense of like, yes, I would wait an hour for it. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to put Dumbo in, I'm going to put it in solid simply because yes, it's great during the day and I love all the water, but at night, it's amazing. Like the views of Fantasyland at night, if it's dark, I'm going to put it in that. The teacups. My boyfriend loves the teacups. Like, if you've seen our Disney vlogs, you will know that Ben is all over the teacups. Like teacups are like Ben's thing. They want to do it multiple times a day. I'm putting it in solid because I love them, but I just don't love them as much as Ben does. Mainly because they spin and I'm not really a spinning, a spinning type person. Next we have Aladdin's Passage. We've done this twice. It's like a little walkthrough attraction and you can see some scenes from Aladdin. You know, I like it, but I don't think it's really amazing. Like it definitely doesn't blow me away. It takes you through some of like, the scenes from Aladdin, but it's like physical like pieces. It's cute. It's okay. I'll put it in. It's okay. Simply because like, it's not a must do for me. Like if I went to Disneyland and didn't do it, I wouldn't be that bothered. Nautilus. Now I'm going to have to put Nautilus in Nope, simply because I have not been into Nautilus because Nautilus has been closed since I've been born essentially. I'm joking, but it has been closed a long time. I know it's been closed like since around COVID. I didn't do it in 2016 on my first trip either. So like I still don't know what it is. And I've had an annual pass for almost a year. Disney, can you open Nautilus, please? Thank you. I would like to see that before I don't come back for a year or two or three. Oh, gonna have a breakdown. Bear with, I can't, I can't deal with the thought of my annual pass expiring. Could I get a new one? Yes. Am I also saving to go to Florida? Yes. Okay, Buzz Lightyear's Laser Blast, iconic. Mainly because I'm just incredible at it. I'm sorry about it, okay? My boyfriend's beaten me on this ride twice. And one was because we were stuck. They were just boop, 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 pew, 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 pew. So technically that's cheating. Pirates of the Caribbean, iconic, big, slay moment. This is my second favorite ride in the park. The theming is amazing. The smell is amazing. It smells like chlorine, which I'm like, oh, chlorine. Love it. Um, I think the theming's great. The actual ride itself is great. I got stuck on it. That was my first ride breakdown. Oh yeah, I just love it. I love the music. I love when you are on the boats and you make like that turn past Captain Jack's restaurant and you can see all the people sighing their food and you can just smell the food. It's unreal. One of my favorite rides in the park. Next up we have Indiana Jones. I'm gonna put this in Nope simply because I don't think I've actually done it. I haven't done it on any of the trips that I've been with Ben and I don't think I did it in 2016. It's very rough. I get motion sick on roller coasters. So I'm gonna have to like put it down there. Another ride that I haven't done is RC Racer because I, that, I had a horrible experience once at Flamingo Land. I was on 
the big swinging ship and I went with my friend. I think it was the day of prom because I didn't go to prom because uh, why would I go to prom? My plan was to stay home and eat Ben and Jerry's and instead we went to Fingerland, which was actually better. But we did Kamali, we did Mumbo Jumbo, like we went on all the rides. It was dead. There was no one there. And we just went on them all like time and time and time and time and time again. And then I went on the swinging ship and for whatever reason, it just set me off. This was before I had motion sickness issues and I started just throwing up on the pirate ship. So... I kind of have a bit of like a, a bit of a phobia of RC race that I can't bring myself to do it. So I guess I'm going to put it in no. Okay, next up is Alice's Curious Labyrinth. <laughs> Labyrinth. Oh my god. I am going to put this in nope. I think it's great. I love it. It's super cute. But if you've done it once, you don't need to do it again because you will waste 7 million hours getting out of it. Okay, next up is Orbitron. Now I'm going to put, I haven't done Orbitron, but I want to. Like, I know Orbitron won't make me sick, but we just didn't do it on our last trip. That was like one of the rides that we were like fully like, we're going to do it. And knowing that it's just like a rocket ship that spins you around, like it just kind of goes around like that. I know that I'd like it because it's essentially just Dumbo in Discovery Land, which like, with that theory, I should put it in solid. I, I, I justify that. Next up, is that the... I think that's that like drawing place that I've never done. I'm going to be honest, that's not for me. I think you can like draw characters or something there. I don't know. I haven't done it. I'm going to put that in no, just because... I don't really care for that type of thing, personally. <gasps> parachute drop, parachute drop. I love parachute drop. That's going straight and iconic. My boyfriend hates it. Next up is Casey Jr. That's going in... Oh, Ben's going to kill me with this one. Solid. I like Casey Jr. I can't put it in iconic because, well, it is iconic, but it's not, like, iconic to me. Like, it's iconic in, it's iconic in the world of Disney, but it's not iconic to me. Like, I'm not, like... Praise Casey Jr. Circus Tread. Ah! It's like a powered roller coaster, so it never really properly speeds up. Like, if you go down a drop, it doesn't speed up. Like, you don't get that whoa feeling. Next up is Crush's Coaster, and unfortunately, that is going to have to go into nope. Simply because I haven't done it, and B, motion sickness. Okay, Tower of Terror. My boyfriend's going to completely disagree with me on this one, but I'm putting that in iconic. I hate and love Tower of Terror. It's this weird love-hate relationship. It's like absolutely terrifying because you just don't know when the ride's gonna stop. Like you are dropping, you are going up, you're literally floating in the air. There is no lap bar. You've got a seatbelt and that is it. Like there's no harness, there's no lap bar. It's just a seatbelt. It pulls you up, it pulls you down. It's on a cable, it's not like free fall. But because it's on a cable, it can pull you up as well. And sometimes you do not know if you're going up or down and it is genuinely terrifying, but also it's so much fun. The theming is phenomenal the cast members are phen oh my god the cast member when we did it in june was so funny she was like she like we all went in she spoke in a couple of different languages and then she was like okay any questions okay no bye and left like she just vanished and then before we knew it we were into the ride experience and it was a lot like it's very creepy it's very droppy it's very scary, but it's so much fun. Okay, next up is Disneyland's Railroad. I'm going to put this in. It's okay. It serves the purpose of transporting you around the park, but half the stations are closed usually anyway. So, I mean, what is actually the point? It's cute. You get some cute views of the park. You also go into the back of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and, like, you can actually see, like, the ride from inside. It's so weird, but it's also really cool. So, I'm going to put it in okay. Phantom Manor, immediately putting that in iconic. It's one of my favorite rides. But Phantom Manor, the story of Phantom Manor is incredible. I'm going to put together, like, the ultimate Disneyland Paris guide soon because obviously I've been quite a bit but the story of Phantom Manor and how it links back to the entirety of Frontierland and Big Thunder Mountain is just like next level and it gave me such an appreciation for the entire area so for that alone it's going in iconic right okay hyperspace mountain I've done space mountain mission two and I remember being on it and being like hell yeah Hell no, because my motion sickness kicked in really badly and there was a couple of points on that ride that I was like, I'm going to be sick, but I wasn't sick. And I went to the hotel and I think I was like fine afterwards. So like, I think I'm going to put it in like, it's okay because I haven't done it since it's been changed to Star Wars and I know it's actually smoother now. So I really need to just get on it. Like I, I, I put it off each trip. Like I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then I just don't because I'm like, I really don't want to be sick. Okay, next up is the main street vehicles. I've never done it. So I'm just going to put it in, nope. It's cute. It's not really like something that I would like run to. Okay, the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. I'm going to put this in solid. I think it serves a really great purpose for Adventureland. It's an attraction that you can do that is not a roller coaster or a ride. And the views from the top are actually really, really great. It's a small world. I'm going to put it in it's okay. So with Ben, we have not done It's a Small World. It's never been open when we've been to Disneyland Paris because it's been undergoing some crazy renovations. However, I did do it in 2016 and I remember it being, it was fine. Like it was cute. I understand why it's iconic, but it's not iconic to me. Okay, the storybook boat ride, Le Plaisir Contest de Fils, or whatever it is, I can't speak French. 
clearly. I'm so sorry for any French people watching this. They're going to be like, what did you just say? Do you need medical attention? I'll be like, well, actually, probably. I definitely need some psychological assessment. I'm going to put that in It's Okay, because it is okay. It's cute. It's a nice sit-down ride. Once again, it's a ride that I would, I'd love to do in the summer. Next up is the Cars Spinning Ride. That I can't remember what it's called, but I'm honestly just, yeah, I don't care for that. I haven't actually done it, but A, I don't think I'd fit in it because I'm not a child and also I'm fat. And B, it spins. That's not for me. Ratatouille. Oh my God, Ratatouille. Iconic. Ratatouille is in my top three favorite rides. I actually think it's my second favorite ride across. Ooh. Am I going to put that above Pirates of the Caribbean? I'm not. It's my third favorite ride across the entire resort. Yes. I'm a huge Ratatouille fan. Like Remy, I have a lot of like Ratatouille stuff. I've got a Remy that's on top of one of my speakers. I've got another Remy that's down there. I've got a Remy mug. I literally have my Ratatouille lounge fly, which I bought on my most recent trip. I'm a huge Ratatouille fan and it's literally my favorite movie of all time. I love the ride. It makes me just like smile like nonstop from the second that I get on it to the second that I get off. I'm just like, my face hurts when I get off it. Next is Peter Pan's flight. Now, if you asked me a few months ago, I would have put this in meh because I really did think it was terrible and I thought it was a, just a useless ride and a useless dark ride and whatever. It has since gone up a tier into It's Okay. I don't think that Peter Pan's flight should... It's not that it shouldn't get the, the queues that it gets. I just don't think it's worth like an hour queue. So if you can get on this and the queue is 25 minutes, half an hour, do it. Next up is Mickey's Philhar Magic. I still actually don't know what this is. I really wish in May we were going for longer because I just want to get everything done because it's going to be my last trip for a while. But like, I'm going to have to put it in nope simply because I haven't done it. And I don't really know that much about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Like, I know everyone raves about it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So maybe I should just do it. But Pinocchio. Pinocchio is going to go in It's Okay. It's cute. It's fine. It's whatever. Okay, this is the, the Frontierland entrance thing. As you walk into Frontierland, there's like a thing that you can walk up. I forgot what it's called. I'm so stupid. I'm going to put this in meh. You get some good views of Frontierland. You do. You get to walk around it, which is cute. My only thing with it is that it just doesn't really... It doesn't give me like that wow factor. Do you know what I mean? Like it doesn't give me that like, oh, I want to do it a million times. And I understand that attractions like that have to exist. Like not everything can be like iconic. Things need to be like filler attractions to kind of take some of the crowd away. Do you know what I mean? Oh my God, my years of playing Roller Coaster Tycoon and Planet Coaster are definitely like coming out now, aren't they? Think that Star Tours, if that Star Tours, we're putting that in. Iconic. I've only done this ride once, but I'm eager to do it again several times. I was kind of a little bit nervous to do Star Tours just because it's a motion simulator. I found out it's like a retired 747 simulator or something and like they just show you Star Wars in there and like the whole thing moves and there's like multiple different storylines you can get. I was really scared just because I get motion sick from like 3D motion things like that. I loved it. It was so good. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in Iconic. I had so much fun and I'm really not a Star Wars fan. Yeah, I'm not. But I thought it was cool and the theming was insane like arguably some of the best theming in Disneyland Paris. Stitch Live I have not done so I'm gonna put that in nope. I think that's way more targeted towards kids. I think what I'm thinking it might be is something similar to like you know Crush in Florida where like you can talk to Crush. I'm starting to think that maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. The Cars Back Lot Tour thing. I have an unpopular opinion about this one. I don't think it deserves the hate that it gets. I think a lot of people really hate the Cars Studio Tram Tour well, what used to be the Car Studio Tram Tour, and now it's like the Car Catastrophe Canyon something, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think it deserves the hate that it gets. They made do with what they had. They could have ripped it out and put something else in there. Sure. I would have loved an outdoor coaster there. Like, I don't know what they could do, but I would have loved like an outdoor coaster. Oh my God, they should 100% put Radiator Springs up in Disneyland Paris and have that car, have that Cars ride that they've got in for in California. I don't think it deserves the hate it gets. It's a nice moment to sit down, to be totally honest. Um, especially if you've been walking around for five days straight like we do. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. I think it's cool. I think it's solid. Next up is the dragon under the castle and that is going in iconic. No, it's not. It's going in solid because it's not a ride. So I can't like, ugh, like I'm a ride kind of guy. So like I need to put like rides in iconic really. But the dragon is amazing. It's an inc it's a huge animatronic. It's smoky, it's mysterious, it's dark. It's the only Disney castle with a dragon underneath it. And I think it's so cool. And I think a lot of people miss it. So solid. Okay, next we've got the flying carpets. I haven't done these, so I guess I'm gonna put them in no, but it's like Dumbo. So like also Dumbo, it's basically Dumbo, but a flying carpet. So I'm gonna put that in solid, I guess, cause I'd like it if I went on it. Next up is the Molly Brown Riverboat. This is okay. I like it. I just find that the weather in Disneyland Paris is too like 
unpredictable to justify going on it unless you know the weather's going to be amazing. Okay, next up is Autopia. Autopia, I'm going to put in solid. I really like Autopia, but oh no, I'm going to put Autopia in it's, in it's okay. Yeah, I'm putting Autopia in It's Okay once again because it's weather dependent. Autopia when it's raining, absolutely not. If you watch our October vlogs, I was basically like about to have a mental breakdown because I was soaked. It was our last day in the park and we were flying home that night. And literally, usually I cry when I leave the park. So if you watch the vlogs, you'll know I usually get pretty like emotional about leaving because it's just like my favorite place and I'm a big baby. Um, I was drenched and I was like, I don't care. I'm going back to the hotel. I'm getting my stuff and I'm leaving. Don't care. And I kind of, I went home feeling a little bit, like, miserable. Like, I don't want to say I had, like, post-holiday depression, but, like, I definitely had a moment where I was like, ugh. Because I just didn't have that, the moment that I want when I leave Disney and I want to stare at the castle and I want to be like, oh my god, I'm never going to see you again. Comes home and books another trip. Like, that's really what I want. Like, that's, like, my finale. That's my big grand exit. And I just didn't get that that time. I just spat everywhere. Ew. Okay, next up is Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog is going into solid. Ben, my boyfriend, loves this ride. If you've seen our Disneyland Paris vlogs, you will know that Ben's absolutely obsessed with it. Um, I think it's solid. I just wish we had the version that was in Florida because the one in Florida, Slinky Dog Dash, looks amazing. Slinky Dog zigzag spin, it's cute. If you go on that when no one's on it, like we went on it in October, no, it was January. It was the most recent trip. And oh my God, there was barely anybody on it. And then it started raining. So I think what happened is because the train was so light because there was nobody in it and the track was wet, it was speedy as hell. And then it started to hail. So then it was just like, you kind of do this like as you go around. So I was like going up and down. I was like, wee, wee, sliding to the left. I don't know why I slide on that ride so much. I just do. Like, it's just like one big long bench with like a massive lap bar. It's just like crazy. Like, it's really crazy. So yeah, it's it's fun, but it's not iconic. The one in Florida is probably iconic, which we're definitely going to do when we visit next year. Ah. Anyway, that was me rating all the rides at Disneyland Paris. I had fun doing that. That was great. I feel like I need to find like another one, like rating restaurants or something. <laughs> oh. We all know how I feel about a certain restaurant. That will be fun. I should do that. I should try and find some other stuff. I'm going to head off now, but that was really fun. Yeah, I enjoyed doing that. If this is your first time watching, then please do consider subscribing down below and liking the video. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to. We're almost at a thousand over there, which is like kind of crazy that my little Disney account, I like, got a thousand followers almost. That's like pretty wild. I think we're like 150 off, something like that. Um, so yeah, that would be amazing if you want to check me out over there. Um, I post lots of stuff over there that you're probably not going to see on YouTube just because like reels. I'm not about to start doing YouTube shots. I'm sorry. That's not about to happen. Yeah. Big Slayer. Bye. Ooh. I need a drink.